Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video talking about a situation that I've been wanting to uh, get off my mind for a long time. And I've also, I really wanted to give you guys advice for it too, and how to move on from it. Uh, at least how I did it, you guys might be different. I, and I respect that uh, everyone's different when it comes to this kind of things, but um, here's my opinion. So, with the case with me in high school, I was, uh, like, I had friends, but I didn't really have, uh, true friends until I got to high school. Um, uh, I had friends that I hung out with in my neighborhood, but they, uh, a lot of the time I kind of just felt like they used me. And, uh, finally whenever I went to high school, I felt like I kind of met my true friends there. And, uh, I loved it. Uh, my senior year in particular was my favorite year of high school because I had this group of friends in drama class where we acted in a play together twice and hung out outside of school and even went to uh, Beach Bend together. And through some stupid decisions on my part, some of them were, a lot of them I don't talk to anymore since I've moved. It makes me sad to this day that, you know, some of them aren't, will probably never talk to me again. Some of the stupid decisions I made was that, you know, I'm one of those kind of person where like, I will not reach out to you unless I can have a like, unless I can think of something I can fully talk about, like, unless I can have a full com, unless I can think of a full conversation with you, I will not reach out to you. Cause otherwise I feel like I'm just annoying you at that point. And uh, that's why I've always been. I'm not much of a person that like, well at least I don't like to just s message someone just to say hey or hello, uh, and then don't really, then not really much have much conversation besides that, because I just feel like that's that's just I just feel like that's kind of robotic in a way, and I realize that's probably the best way of meeting new people, but it's just not me at all. So as soon as I moved here, I kind of immediately started film school. And whenever I started film school, I made new friends and I uh, didn't really talk to the old ones as much. I uh, had one person uh, that I talked to regularly after that was from my drama class. And we hung out, we even, she even went to my birthday. Um, and then that kind of, that friendship kind of faded away because uh, I uh, wasn't for anything bad. I just didn't really talk to her as much. And then, by now, after, you know, me being graduated for almost two years now, I don't really talk to much of anybody I went to high school with. And honestly, it's really sad. But my advice for, if you're in the situation where you feel like you're losing friends after moving away, I would advise that you still try to stay in contact with them. Don't follow what I do, and that is, you know, only talk to them whenever you can have a conversation. Like, just reach out to them, see how they're doing, if they're in college or something, you know, or still in high school. Ask them like, hey man, how's, uh, or woman, whatever. Uh, just say, hey, how's, uh, how's school? Are you learning anything new? You know, just try to make sure you know that you want to be involved in their life. Um, after, that's what I've been kind of doing. I've been trying to reach out to people that I care about or, you know, I hung out with regularly whenever I was in high school. And uh, that's kind of what's helped me move on uh, is uh, talking to them every couple months or something. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry this video got so sad. I, uh, it was a video that I thought needed to be made because um, I'm really starting to enjoy this advice series. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I hope you learned something. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Peace out.